Actually, Frankenstein is the name of the doctor. It's actually Frankenstein's monster. Welcome to Kicks Gaming. This is Papa Kicks. In the Hunter Showcase series, we will dive into the mechanics of each hunter and point out where they shine, where they don't, and what makes them unique, and any weird interactions they might have. Frankie is a seasonal hunter, which means you can only get him during Halloween. In fact, we don't even know if you can get him this next Halloween because we have not had a repeat event yet. But rest assured, if Frankie does not show up, everyone will be out there with pitchforks and torches until he comes out. Frankie has the lowest damage in the game, with a starting damage of... This can't be right. One? His damage is one? What about level ten? Three? Okay, let's test this. So what happened? That's because his damage isn't just from his damage stat. It also includes his special skill HP to damage. So as long as you have HP, you will do damage. Okay, well now he's doing zero damage. His special skill converts 5% of his current HP to damage. 500 HP, 25 damage. Elf Archer is 24 for reference. His unique perk, HP to damage, is identical to his skill, so it increases the boost by another 5%. 500 HP becomes 50 damage. 4 perks, now we're doing 100 damage. Now it makes sense that his starting damage is so low. Despite having the most HP out of any hunter in the game, he's not really a tank. Of course he's a thick boy, and yes he can definitely take some hits, but the tricky part of his gameplay is that despite having this massive pool of HP, you actually want to lose as little as possible. That's because his skill is based on his current HP, not his maximum. Frankie has no damage reduction, no lifesteal, no dodge, nothing that most of the tanks have. His only saving grace is his regen, 5% every 2 seconds. That's 2.5 regen skills worth. So if you run in trying to Hulk smash, yes, you'll do big damage on the first hit, and maybe the second, but the third will be a bit weak, and the fourth will hit like a wet noodle until, yes, death. His attack is a nice AoE in front of him, hitting a small area around the point of impact. This means he's actually decent at farming big groups so long as they're nicely packed together. This all boils down to playing to your strengths and playing smart. In hunt mode, he's an A, but who isn't? In hardcore hunt, he's a C+. If you don't have Celestia Pact and his unique perk, you'll struggle. In duel, he's a B, but in bounty hunter, he's an A+. At level 10 with 3 perks, he deals a whopping 63 damage per hit. He also benefits from the book in the middle, since it gives him damage and HP, which is, of course, more damage. Co-op... Uh, that's a hard pass. In boss hunt, he's a solid A. With his regen and his unique perk, Frankie can smash out a lot of damage. He probably won't be able to kill the boss every time, but you'll still get a solid first place. Let's check out dungeons. In dragon, he's an A. See boss hunt. In kraken, he's a B. His regen makes him a great choice for kraken. His only downside is getting those first kills. If you get hit before killing anything, it's not pretty. Same goes with Yeti. Without Maze Gear, his HP will go down too quickly and the regen can't keep up with Yeti's damage. He'll be okay as a tank on an early level, but that's about it. But with Maze Gear, he's a solid S. Having life drain changes everything for Frankie. In Maze, he's easily A tier. But if you know how to stack poison fast with your partner, he can easily be S tier. Let's look at perk priority. Celestial Pact is a great choice for obvious reasons, especially early levels when it's worth 600% more than at level 20. Otherwise you want his unique perk, HP to damage. It isn't level dependent, and it turns Frankie from Bruce Banner into the Hulk. If you're offered a choice between HP to damage and Celestial Pact very early in the game, don't worry about it too much, both are great choices. Attack speed is a great choice for Frankie, since he needs to kill quickly to maintain his health. The best defense is a good offense. This applies to movement speed as well. Getting in and out of combat quickly will really help Frankie stay alive. Once Frankie is awakened, his new perk is weakness. This is perfect for Frankie. 
allowing him to take less damage, keeping his HP up and therefore his damage up. For perks to remove, the most obvious answer is simply Demon Pact. While HP to damage skill means we always want more HP, that doesn't mean damage is useless, even at the cost of HP. If you have 4 perks or less, then Demon Pact will be a net positive damage. But once you hit 5 perks, now it becomes a loss of DPS, and regardless of when you took the Demon Pact, you can't undo the damage either. In other words, it's complicated. So let's make it simple by removing Demon Pact from the perk pool. Stone Priority HP literally translates to more damage for Frankie, so yes please. XP means more levels. More levels equals 10% HP buffs, so also good. Damage reduction means his HP stays higher longer. Same for dodge. Stunned enemies can't hit Frankie back, therefore more HP and thus more damage. Movement speed allows Frankie to get in and out of enemy range quickly. For offense, there's no getting away from life drain. It ensures your HP and thus your damage output remains as high as possible at all times. His damage numbers are fat, so his poison potential is huge, but he attacks slowly, so you'll want to pair him with a hunter like Ancient One or Engineer to get a lot of stacks quickly and then let Frankie finish the job. Tentacles work great with Frankie. You can run in and swing and let the tentacle attack and avoid getting hit. Damage doesn't do much on Frankie, but it doesn't hurt him either. It's still useful even if we prefer to get HP. Because he has big numbers, his fire damage is big numbers times 4, which helps clear large groups fast. Attack speed. Nope. Frankie's concept is a bit of an oddity in and of itself. A melee unit with extremely high HP who can't take any hits. Because tentacles always attack for the damage of your current status, if you die and your tentacles hit the boss afterwards, their damage and therefore your poison damage will be next to nothing. And that's Frankie. If you remember, Frankie is the next hunter in the Hunter Showcase series because of the giveaway for Kix Gaming subscribers. Will Gates sponsored three prizes for you. The snowman was first, which is now over, and today is Frankie. But the best prize is last. I wonder what it could be. Make sure you subscribe to be eligible. You'll need to enter on Runty's Discord server this time. My inbox can't handle so many entries. And besides, Runty's is a great partner of Kix Gaming. They specialize in helping new players get the best experience out of this game. If you're new to dungeons, you should definitely join and you'll be surprised at the help you receive. There's now a free subscription code hidden in every video. So hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. A huge shout out to my patrons. They are awesome. You can join them if you like what we're doing here by using the links below. A big thanks to Will Gates for sponsoring these giveaways, and for being such a big believer in this channel. A special thanks goes to Eratos for writing the Frankie script with me. Fun fact, it's because of Frankie's regen that all regen was turned off in the race event. I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. Papa kicks out. For the love of God, do not bring Frankie on no heel floors.